In this video, I want to teach you uh, an exercise that I learned from Elaine Summers, which I find is extremely useful in opening up the adductor muscles in the th with, on the inside of the thighs. And so what you're going to need is some, something of the proper thickness so that when you lie down, your neck, the, the vertebra of your cervical spine, will be in their optimal alignment, not forward or back like that. So, so I'm lying down. And first I just give in to gravity. And now I take a look at my feet. And it looks like my right foot is a little higher than my left. So that's the one I'm going to work with. And what I'm going to do is use this muscle on the inside that goes from, I guess, the pubic bone to the, um, to the inside of the knee. And what I want to do is extend that. And as I do that, watch. I bring the knee out. So I'm not doing it by contracting the muscles, my buttocks muscles or my uh, muscles on the outside and back. I'm using the muscle on the inside. And if you feel that as you do it, you can actually feel that that is the muscle that's, that's activating that movement. So now my, I can feel that my foot is down. And so I'll relax. We'll see, when I, re when I extend and then I relax, the elasticity of the tissues brings it back, but not as far back as it was. And now I'll do the other side. I'm extending my knee out. And then I'm letting it come back, but it doesn't go back quite as much. And I feel my foot is a little lower. Now I'll do it some more, and back. And now I'll do it with both. Now when you start this, don't expect a lot of movement. Just be happy if you can even just send the correct electricity, neural electricity, to the um, parts that need to activate. But as you do it more, and I've been doing this for many decades, and do, using it in Tai Chi, that's, you, you'll get a lot more movement. And the next, I'm going to come up and show you how that's used in the movements of Tai Chi. So when you come up, it's very important to do so correctly. First, I feel my body and feel whether it's ready to come up. And when it is, I roll over onto one side and I use my arms to come up and I come up sideways. The goal is that I don't want to tense all these muscles in my back that have become relaxed. Now I use my fists, tuck my toes under and just roll back and step and come up to standing. And this is the way that I found is the most useful. And now I want to show you some Taiji movements. So I'm going to move the mat out of the way. And the pillow. And so when I do a movement such as ward off left, after, that's the movement after the hands come down in the, in the beginning movement. As I'm shifting into the left leg, this is expanding here. I'm not pulling this leg out by pulling with the muscles in the back. I'm opening these muscles, both sides, and expanding and bringing this knee out. And then I take that step. Now, if instead I let the knee collapse in, which is a common thing. What I'm doing now is pointing my knee at an angle. It's not forward. And now when I step, I'm going to lose my width. And now I don't have stability when I try to turn into the end of the move. 
So what I want to do is as I shift, let my leg tilt, knee forward, and then step. And then you'll have the width of the movement and the step will be balanced and it will be um, smooth and it'll be stepping like a cat. In other words, not committing your weight to that foot before you're sure that that foot will support your body. Thank you.